barakatuh. I'm sure many of you are aware of the recent tragedy that took place in the Bahamas. Just recently, they were hit with a very strong hurricane and with some very strong winds and almost the entire place is flooded. And so I wanted to use this opportunity to share a hadith or two with you. Share some prophetic traditions about the importance of helping the poor, the needy, and those who are in such difficult circumstances. Once a companion came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Ayyul Islam khair? Which aspect of Islam is the best? And the Prophet ﷺ replied, Tut'imu ta'am wa taqra'u salama ala man arafta wa man lam ta'rif. To give food, to help the poor and needy, and to say salam to those whom you recognize as well as those whom you do not recognize. So this seems to be one of the most important aspects of our deen. And perhaps the Prophet ﷺ answered the man in this manner to point out to us that Islam is not only confined to the four walls of the masjid. Islam is not only confined to pure rites, rituals, and acts of worship, like salah, prayer, fasting, and hajj. Rather, Islam is much broader than that. Islam is a complete way of life. In fact, in many of the Makkan surahs, the early revelations, one of the most important aspects of our deen that is emphasized is this aspect of helping the poor and the needy. And so I just wanted to use this opportunity to encourage everyone uh, to partake, partake in the Snowball Project. Uh, very soon, inshallah, we'll be sending a container to the Bahamas. Uh, many of the massages, they have actually come together. And so I wanted to appeal to everyone and encourage everyone, if you have anything to donate, whether it is canned food, uh, water bottles, uh, comforters, blankets, uh, you know, things for the babies, uh, baby wipes, and so on and so forth, and then uh, please do so as soon as possible, and uh, inshallah, receive the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, donate today to help the people of Bahamas. Please do not wait any longer. If you not have already done so, please go to sofalomuslims.com slash Bahamas. Make a contribution. Help us to help the people in need over there in Bahamas. This hurricane was headed straight towards us, people living in Florida. And by the mercy of Allah, it make, took a turn, but not before causing catastrophic damage to the northern Bahamas. The people over there are in dire need. They don't have, they do not have a roof over their heads. They do not have food to eat. And they are our neighbors. Our neighbors have rights on us. So much so that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that he almost expected Angel Jibreel to mention that they have the right of inheritance. So they have, indeed, they have a great right upon, upon us and we have an obligation as Muslims and as human beings to help the people over there in Bahamas. Alhamdulillah, we are working together as Muslims and South Florida Muslim organizations. We have 15 masajid collecting supplies. So it is very easy for you to gather some supplies and Find the nearest collection lo location that's convenient to you and drop off those supplies again. And you can also make a donation and contact us if you can help volunteer to make a contribution to this very important effort. Please do so today. May Allah reward you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Uh, this is Sobia from Helping Hands Relief. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a little about the campaign that's going on for Bahamas. Like we all, this is this is actually like historic. It's 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 really a, a big deal because uh, it's it's one of its kind project. Everybody have joined hands. And uh, this is gonna be a huge success for all of us to make a difference as a Muslim Ummah. Uh, we uh, and and mashallah, alhamdulillah, we have collectively uh, be able to raise a lot of relief. Uh, just yesterday, we had um, we had like a lot of uh, a lot of relief, um, um, uh, like collected from from different masjids and 
in South Florida. Then we have this this truck that just came today from Orlando, uh, with the help of Brother Yusuf from he uh, Helping Hands. Then we have two trucks coming tomorrow, uh, from both Tampa and uh, and with the help of volunteers here and with the help of all these campaigns that's that's actually working right now and all these big organizations, um, collaborating with Helping Hands. We have been able to to do really do a lot in in a very short time this is this is this is like a big deal like a big deal because this shows how how like collectively we can make a difference of you to please come forward and and help us helping hands and all these organizations that's actually working in south florida we are <clears throat> impossible to do what we are doing without your help and by the grace of God. So I just hope and pray whatever we are doing would go uh, to the right people, uh, to the deserving people.